Hey everybody, it's Tim. I'm taking a break. I'm eating a sandwich. And answering your questions. Thank you to everybody that asked me a question. I'm going to read through them and answer them in reverse order. Because uh, that worked out. And if I do another one, I can... Anyway. First, final, whatever. Question from Adam Hesh. Hey, Adam. How would you kill a thief in the night using, and you have to use all of them, a box of Kraft macaroni and cheese, a knee-length sock, and a grossly overweight house cat? It's a great question, Adam. I think about this all the time. Uh, so, I uh, tie them by the neck to a post, like the uh, on a banister or something there, right? It tie them there, and then you spread the macaroni and cheese on their body, and you let the overweight house cat finish them off. It'll take weeks. Oh, it's glorious. Uh, Felix Frump Hammer. You're going to take a picture with William and the gang this time? I sure hope so. I'm going to swing by and see them on my way back. Jason Kufler says, Discuss the pros and cons of cloning yourself. The pros are quite obvious. You either have minions or very capable nemesis, depending on how they turn out. Which is Those are the pros. Either one of them is fantastic. A good nemesis is good. Uh, the cons are, when you clone yourself, you're dealing with an infant. So you have all the cons <clears throat> of an infant, and then you have to watch yourself go through uh, puberty and adolescence again, which was excruciating enough the first time. Ugh. Uh, William Batchelder, you want to see some twins? Yes, I do. We'll talk about that on the way back. Luen... Quelty asks, what is the meaning of life? Like I would know. Uh, my favorite take on this question comes from Victor Frankl. He says, we don't ask what is the meaning of life. That is the question life asks of us. So the better question is, what's the meaning of my life? What am I here to do? There we go. Casey, my wife says, Mustachio! I like your style, dude. Thank you, sweetheart. I miss you. Della asks, Secret Magic Ink Recipe. The sun just came out. Uh, secret Magic Ink Recipe. It's the blood of some ponies. The blood of my enemies. Some blue gack. And water. I guess. Not good. Carolyn Ananian asks, Who are you? That is true. Barb Verhoff asks, Did you attend a Montessori school as a child? Is that some kind of... Ought I to be offended? <laughs> That's a funny question. I did not. I went to regular old uh, public school. Gavin Elder asks, which is more effective at treating herpes, xanthan gum or a staple remover? Increments. Each one gives you an incremental benefit. So the correct answer is, of course, both. How exactly you apply them, I don't know. Nate Grenier says, if Captain Planet was real, which character or power would you be and why? Well, Captain Planet is real in a sense. I don't know what he does. Uh, which power would I be? I know my superpower is automatically regenerating milk jug hands. A punch with a gallon of uh, vitamin D and it explodes on someone and knocks them back. And then when I wheel back to punch again, bloop, I get another gallon of vitamin D or whatever. I could even, if I just wanted a small amount. I could have, um, like, a non-dairy creamer packet. Any dairy I choose. That's my superpower. What else we got? Charlie Downs asks, Whatever happened to Quaaludes? It's a little vague, Charlie. Whatever happened to Quaaludes on the whole? Or whatever happened to your Quaaludes? Because I think those are two very different things. All right, this is getting long. Kobe sent me a link. Jason Hall, favorite Baltimore beer. 
Um, the Baltimore beer that I've craved since moving away from Baltimore for six months, it's funny because I hadn't had any for a while anyway, is the stuff from Oliver that my friend Steven makes. So I would uh, hope to get my fist around a Three Lions when I get uh, into Baltimore, and if I can find a glass of Draft Punk anywhere, I will be ecstatic. Uh, beer tastes a lot better when you know and like the person that makes it. It's the same with coffee. Um, and I'm really missing uh, my Oliver beers. Uh, and then Linda K. Coble, my mother-in-law, asks, is that a fake stash? In the photo of accompanying uh, the original post, that is an actual mustache. And that was just as Charlotte was about to take it off. Okay, thanks guys. That was really fun. Um, maybe I'll do another one. We'll see you soon. Yeah.